Hi there, today I'm going to show you the new setup for the drawing, which is going to give you an option to default a few of the pricing and you can choose if you're going to charge for an item or not. So let's go to it. Here as you can see you have these three pages, which is basically just a list of each item that you use inside the drawing. So as you can see, you have this list, which is just showing you the options of border and corners that you have inside the drawing. To start, what you can do first is choose if you're charging for that item or not. So you have these three options, you have the option to charge, optional charging, and charging disabled. The charge it is what it says, so if you choose this option and if you select a radius inside the drawing, the radius will be charged for. And if you choose the optional charging, which it will give you the option to show this inside the order or not, so depending on the project you're working on you will charge for the unfinished edge, but if it is a different project and you won't be charging, you chose the optional charge you can decide before you finish the drawing if you're going to charge for that item or not. As for the charging disabled, if you choose this option, the item that you selected this option, so in this case the radius, if I set the radius to charging disabled, so if I select here charge disabled, as you can see here, I don't have the radius, but if I change here, I should be able to see the radius. So this is what the charging option does, you can choose if you're charging or not for that item. And if you are charging for the item, you can choose how you're charging, per unit, linear or square foot. And once you do that, you can define the price of that item. And here you can select a group for this item. So let's say that for all of the corners, you'd like to group them as a service because you like to group them as a fabrication service. So if you select here fabrication, all of these corners will be under the same group here. So as you can see under the item service, you have this fabrication option. And if you click here, you should be able to see all of the fabrications you have added to this drawing. But if I change the notch to a cutout as you can see, it will disappear from fabrication and it will appear here under cutout. Because this is the group that I put the notch in, you put the notch inside the cutout and not the fabrication anymore. But all of the other ones, the border bump out, clip and radius, are inside fabrication. So this basically will just group these items, services or cutouts inside the same topic. So you don't have one by one listed. And it will work the same way for all of the other options. So you can do the same thing to backsplashes, waterfall, miter edge, lamination, and also the type of finish. So finished edge, appliance edge, and unfinished edge. And you can also charge for the cutouts, because you are already able to register your product inside the system. Once you register the products, you insert there the price you charge for the item and not for the cutout. So here in this option, you have this cutout where you can define how much you charge for a cutout of a cooktop or a sink. And you can also define if you're going to charge for the seams. So if you place seams in your drawing, you can choose if you're charging for it or not. And same thing for the faucet holes, since you can select the faucet from your products, you can also define here a price for the cutout of this faucet hole. And all of them will look like this inside the drawing. So whenever you finish your drawing and you go to the price details to see the items, you're able to see all of the items and if you are going to charge for them or not. So let's see how that looks like inside the drawing in quote.